Hello again, welcome uh, to another video. So back on the Saru, which you can see just there. So I've got the Saru sign, which you don't need a Saru sign. You, the, the Saru card can go in in a stock satin, satin and it'll, it'll work fine. I'm just a, a Muppet that thought, oh, that looks cool. And it does. I want one. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, so back on it. And let's uh, play a couple of games, eh? Let's pick one. I'm actually loving this at the minute. Just the ease of use. I, I, I tell you, what, let's check out Tomb Raider on it. See how it plays. Yeah, that's it. Let me turn the light off. That might be better. Was it going to be two? Oh well, no, let's leave the light on. There you go. A swig, swig of coffee. Let's watch the intro. Sorry about the little scar connection things. Yeah, but back in the day, Tomb Raider, I first played on the Saturn, because my brother had a Saturn. And uh, that's the first time I uh, played Tomb Raider. Fantastic game. And I think the Saturn did a really good job of it. What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. Right, let's... <laughs> let's get to the game. I used to think that intro was amazing. Well, should we go around the mansion first? Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Use the D-pad to go into the music room. Yeah, when it first played this, it blew my mind. It's you know, the freedom okay. you've got on it. Let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. Now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. Okay. Wow. <coughs> there you go, look. Amazing. Press that to the... Ah, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. Oh, okay. Let's do this instead of a little cooler. Hold on. God. There Run you onto go. a crate and while still pressing forward, press action and I'll vault up onto it. What was action again? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I got you. <laughs> Well, that's enough of that. How's you get out of here? Hey, come on, let's get into the game. Huh? Yeah, I need to change the aspect ratio of this because obviously it's in widescreen, but I don't, I, tell you, I don't want to go into the card and mess around with it. Mess it up. Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. That's all right. That's all right. Exit to title, there you go. Yeah, I used to love this 
back in the day, blew me away this open, opening cinematic. Use the buttons. Right. I mean, it, it looks better on the PlayStation One, I must admit, but absolutely, uh, I love the Saturn version. I really do. And it actually came out on Saturn first, didn't it? We must be got here. Let's go. They're actually a protected species. If you kill a bat, it's £5,000 fine. So I don't know what she's doing. So let's have a check out down here. Oh my god. So you do it, Lara. Yeah, I mean, back, back in the day, obviously, you had Mario 64, which first 3D game blew you away. But then this, the free roaming and how you moved around, oh, it was amazing, wasn't it? How did you count? Oh, damn. I'm sure there's a way you could just look around, won't they? That's sidestep, sidestep. Wasn't the middle button? Yeah, that's it. You could look around. There you go. Look. Yeah, okay, that's all. There's a hole in the floor somewhere around here. Yeah, that was it, yeah. Do they still remember stuff? Obviously can't get in there yet. You must have to jump up there. So look. Get the guns out just in case. that wolf's down there. Oh, okay. Don't really want to jump down there, do I? Did I get across there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the parkour is excellent, wasn't it? Here. We'll try and shoot the wolves so we're going across the bridge. We must be right under the bridge out of a wolf. Where is it? Another one down. I see. I think there's only two in there, if I can remember rightly. Oh.
You know, this PlayStation one, when it moved, it was a lot smoother than this, but it's still pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, you have to jump across here, don't we? It's a save. Save again, yes. Save complete. So with Asaru, I'm not sure, does it does it save to the card? I think it does. And you've also it's got a battery in the Saru side, so you can save to the internal memory as well. Right, music to come on sale, obviously there's something around here I need to kill. Well, I think that's it. Got a switch there, yeah. Oh, God, you do it a bit closer. There you go. Just in case you never know. Obviously, got a fall for the floor there, looks like. Let's go. Medical supplies. Right, run around with the guns out, I think. Ooh. Damn it, don't. Slide step. You have to hit it sock on. Is there a bear suit? I can't remember. I have to pour it. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Get the gums out just in case. Oh, that's that door we couldn't get through earlier on, right? So let's go. Oh, next section. Ah, oh, that's the first bit done. Eight minutes, 43 seconds, 44 seconds. Zero secrets. Save complete. Right, so that's the first level of, well, first bit of Tomb Raider. Let's just load up and then we'll try one more game, I think, on this side route.
I think I'm going to go Street Fighter Zero for it. I love this game. What a game this is. Street Fighter Zero Three. Here we go. Arcade mode. I think I'm gonna be. No. Where is he? Go, go, go. Yeah. I'm normally, normally why you really? Yeah, he's my favourite to use. But I'm actually loving this saga at the minute, it's so good. Let's party! Go for broke! Back. I've actually, uh, I've got to, uh, I think I've got this on the Dreamcast, uh, just the physical version. But uh, my favourite Street Fighter game is, uh, what is it, is it the Millennium, sorry, I can't get it, Millennium Cat, uh, about three, 2000, is it? Uh, Capcom vs SNK, I love that game, it's so cool. I love, King of, I love King of Fighters and the mix of the two just works so good. Do one more about it. I don't have to do a too long video, but yeah, just a bit of sh show how the pseudo sound works and play some of my favourite games. I can stay here, it's getting harder, beyond her. He's gonna get dizzy soon. Oh. I tell you, it's a good Street Fighter 2 game, it's not Ultra Street Fighter 2. Uh, I have a version out on Switch, oh, I was so addictive online that was. Join us. Let's do one more fight. I love, I absolutely love this game. I mean, the first time I played uh, 
like a Street Fighter Alpha or Zero game. I used to play uh, five side on a every Saturday indoor indoor tournaments, and uh, they had a machine there, and that's the first time I played it. Oh, brilliant! We used to thrash everyone on it. Oh, Yeah, because they could do it with in the air as well. The better one there is Street Fighter 2 Ultra because if you're going a straight line, these kind of did, did, they're affected by gravity, they dip down, some of them. That's how you do it. Oh, I wasted that. I've got to beat this old bugger, this Gen Z. Come on, let's get him. Oh, he's got me. Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, he got me. Right, well. That's a little bit of gameplay on the uh, the Saru. Just sit down there, look. Uh, and I'm, I don't know like an idiot. Got the Saru sound, but I think it looks so, so damn cool. Well, yeah. Tomb Raider and uh, Street Fighter. See you on the next one.